a week ago. Huddersfield were running up a half a century against Castleford. 50 points to eight winners. Their biggest win of the season and their second win of the season. Confidence is sky high amongst the Giants. Today, they're up against the Hulkingston Rovers team who had a tight tussle with Warrington but came out just on the wrong side of a 22 points to 20 ending. And they have now gone two matches without a win. So can they change their form today? And this is the matchup. Huddersfield Giants against Hulkingston Rovers. It should be a terrific game. Well, they've already provided us with a curtain raiser earlier today. The women's game, and it was a big win for the Huddersfield Giants women as well. 74 points to 10. Anna De Silva, a scorer here, and a hat-trick for her in the afternoon as well. So is that an omen, a portent for what's to come? Well, we've seen a couple of games already this weekend, of course. Wigan with a couple of late tries, keeping up their unbeaten record that stretches now back to last July in the Super League with a 22-12 win at Salford. And St. Helens coming from behind to beat Leeds 18 points to eight. Two fabulous games. And still to come, well, you've got this one here, Huddersfield against Hulkingston Rovers. If you prefer Hull FC against Lee, then switch over to Sky Sports Action. We hope you stay with us, but you do have that choice. Hull against Lee is also a three o'clock kickoff. And later on this evening, we can all come back together again for Catalan against Castleford in Perpignan. Sky Sports Action at 5.30 for that one. And tomorrow, rounding off week five, good heavens, week five already in the Betfred Super League. It is London Broncos looking for their first win back in the big time up against the Warrington Wolves, who are doing okay on the Sam Burgess so far this season. Well, this is the way the two teams are lining up today. Huddersfield, Adam Milner is back in uh, the number nine position at Hooker, and Harry Rushton comes in on the bench. And Ash Holding, uh, Ash Golding, I should say, drops to 18th man. There's a bit of razzle-dazzle there, isn't there, with Tui Lolahea to come off the bench at some point as well, if required. And Hulkingston Rovers, well, they've had a bit of a, a little bit of a shake-up. Niall Evels moves to fullback. And Petr Hiku moves into the centres. And before the start of this season, you would have thought that that was their mo more natural positions. And maybe that is a sign of things to come. Tom Opacic, as a result of that shake-up, missing out today. Otherwise, it's uh, very much the side that faced Warrington last week with a little bit of a shake-up in the forwards again and on the bench, reshuffling positions. So what are we expecting today? Barry McDermott alongside us. What are we expecting today? Well, it is perfect conditions for Open Rugby League here today. Adam Clune and Mikey Lewis, the two men in your screen. I think both sides looking to find that rhythm in 2024. Round five, it's one, two, lost two for both sides. But Adam Clune joined the club from the Newcastle Knights, the 28-year-old. Finding a good combination with Russell and Jake Connor. That's the preferred trio. Coaches talk about the spine, that's the preferred tr trio for Ian Watson. And then in Hokia, we know that Mikey Lewis makes things happen. Four try assists for the number seven for Hokia so far this year. But the expectation on the terraces is, is somebody's going to get a resounding win. Somebody's going to stamp their authority on 2024 and give the rest of the league something to think about. We're about to see the two sides emerging here. Hawkins the Rovers ready and waiting. Elliot Minchella, their skipper, is waiting for Huddersfield to get into the uh, into the tunnel as well. There's Andy Kelly. Always good to see Andy Kelly with a bobble hat there walking out. He's uh, one of the fine men of rugby league, isn't he? And doing a wonderful job with the Huddersfield Giants down at the years. Real expectation amongst this crowd here today. Both teams have had reason to be optimistic so far this season. Hulkingston Rovers with their start, that win against their old rivals, Hull FC, backing up with a victory over Leeds. It's gone a little sour since then with narrow defeats against Salford and Warrington. Can they get back to winning ways today? And Huddersfield Giants, who went to Lee on the opening weekend and got a real eye-catching win there, losses to St. Helens and Wigan in uh, reasonably emphatic style the two weeks following. But then that big, big win against Castleford last week will fill them with huge 
confidence here today. The referee today is uh, Tom Grant. Video referee, if and when required, is Marcus Griffiths, back in Wilmslow. Looking forward to this one, Barry. This should be a really good game. Absolutely, and there's a couple of talking points in there. I'm sure we'll start with Pete Petehiku later on. And the decision from Willie Peters to move him back into the centre, but two teams that want to play open rugby, and as I said, it's perfect conditions. Yeah, well, okay, okay, our fans will look on that selection today with some interest, won't they? The fact that Evels is back at full back, a position that he, he said he preferred before he arrived at Hulk KR, but was happy to play on the wing. And Petter Hiku, when we last saw him in the Super League at Warrington, was an outstanding centre, and that's where he plays today. He's an excellent player out on the edges. I think the theory behind the practice is to give him more time on the ball, let him have more involvements, give him some broken field running, but Petter Hiku, for this game anyway, in the centre, and the ability of nigh levels to be positionally right and correct, catch that ball on the front foot and start the sets of six for his side in well, the right manner. On this field, looking wide and seeing if they can find any offerings out there. It's going to be Masters who stopped in his track by several who get across in good time. On this field, inside their own half. The kick is high. It's not got a long way forward, but it's certainly very high. But it's uh, taken easily by Burgess, and Hawkins the Rovers are given a good position to start from here. Yeah, good kick pressure on Jake Connor. You can see he wanted to kick the panels off it, put it high and allow his teammates to chase. But not much accuracy. Here comes Burgess inside that Huddersfield half. Hockey, our fans are making a, a good noise, but it's the Huddersfield fans you can hear at the moment banging their drums trying to build up the atmosphere here today. The Cowbell Army, Dave, the uh, Cowbell Army. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the Cowbell, no, but anyway, no. it's a discussion for another day, isn't it? This is um, taken to within 30, but with one play to go, Lewis will put the kick high, and that is, oh, it's been dropped, and it's another set of six, Holsall's dropped it, Mikey Lewis picks it up, and Lewis is going to be dragged out of play. So a great reaction from Huddersfield because they've given him a mistake there, but what a reaction from their defence. Yeah, good recovery, wasn't it? He got up, he was committed. Sam Holtzall just couldn't quite pouch the ball. You can see he leaps up. Good time. And I don't know whether Tyrone May actually gets a hand to it. Irrelevant of that. Huddersfield Giants right on the toes, make the tackle and push Mikey Lewis. Can you see the right hand of Tyrone May. Well, as a result of that, the referee obviously giving the advantage, hulking the Rovers' way. The Robins still have an excellent position. Here is May, and there's a bit of isolation there, and Burgess will take real advantage of that. It's a very early strike inside the opening three minutes, and Joe Burgess will get his Hulkingston Rovers try scoring up and running. His first touchdown since his arrival at the club. And what a start for the Robins. Well, terrific work on the edges. Joe Burgess combining. Here he is, Tyrell May taking it to the line. And look at that from Niall Evels. Beautiful catch and pass in the same motion. Under pressure from the defenders from Huddersfield Giants. All came from that mistake, didn't it? You make a mistake, you put pressure on yourself near your own line. And Joe Burgess, well, he doesn't get those wrong, does it? And that's actually a vindication for putting Niall Evolds at fullback, his preferred position. Everybody knows what he can do from his time at Cass and Salford before that. Ches Litter with the uh, conversion attempt here. And we saw in that opening game against Hull, it was a pretty parlous kicking performance by Rovers that night but uh, Jez Litton has steadied the ship a little, he's kicked eight goals in those three matches since, but this is a tester right on the touchline what a start, those Robins fans behind the sticks towards which Litton kicks here, are in a good mood and they try to suck that ball over but the, uh, the ball goes wide so not from one but in terms of try scoring, what a start well, as they got off the bus, they would have talked about starting strong, quick. 
and being assertive, and that's certainly what they've done in the opening exchanges. It was a good kick, it was a good challenge. Sam Halsall couldn't collect it, and from that scrum and play the ball, they've done exactly what they would have planned during the week. So Huddersfield go again, barely having hands on balls so far in this game, and already finding themselves trailing by those four. Important they keep the yardage down to a minimum here. As uh, Huddersfield defenders, as Hulkingston Rovers look to bring it forward again. Litton marching in at dummy half. Burgess getting involved again, down the middle this time. He's a busy character in these opening moments. Litton once more. And Chella with a push. A little crawl on the knees, trying to just get an extra couple of yards as well there. Here he comes started Whitbread. the season really well, hasn't he? Jai Whitbread works hard with the ball, competent in defence, and does a good job on the last tackle for his side. They're running it. Well, they might wish they'd had that choice again because they've not, uh, not made the best hand of that. Did they lose count there? I I'm looking at the reaction of the players, and certainly Tyrone May holding his hands out, holding his arms out, last tackle. Come on, boys, let's be better. But an advantage and a little look at the the whole KR half for uh, Huddersfield Giants. So a chance to build inside their opponent's half here. There's Masters. Now they search left again. Milner with that initial pass. Helps on its way there by uh, Russell, but... Hawkingston Rovers defence at the moment not there to be unpicked. Russell brings it back again and again a short pass. But Hawkingston Rovers working hard. Here comes Milner. Still plenty of tackles to go here. Three to have a go. It's uh, with Connor. Masters dealt with. Connor again. Back inside. Kujo straightens things up. Pushing hard, but three defenders doing their job. So last play here, last play. What do they try and create? They're coming to Clue, who gets the pass away to Nagama and offloads again. And uh, Russell to Clue, who's a little, a little sloppy with the pass. And Whitbread drops on it for Hawkins to Rovers. It's good hustle, isn't it, from the Robins? They know that Huddersfield Giants love to spread the ball. They love to go from coast to coast. And just everybody knowing their assignment. Offside against Huddersfield. A sign of their enthusiasm, but still not forgivable, really. Well, what if we have there seven minutes? It's a frustrating start if you're a Huddersfield Giants fan. They've made a mistake, conceded a try. When they've got down the other end of the field, it fizzled out that last set of six. You'd expect Clune or Russell to take charge and control. They handed the ball over easily. So Hadley to his feet, and um, Litton puts it back on the inside. May's getting involved as well, and now it's pushed on by Whitbread. And Hulkings, the Rovers already finding themselves in excellent position here. Litton, May, back towards the centre, and Minchella. There's a bit of a gap there for him to run into, but Chris Hill just grimly holding on to his shoulders and stopping him in his tracks, and Litton switches it left to Lewis. And on it comes again to Gildard, who's dropped the ball, and it's a pick-up here that just gave Sam Holsall just a, a momentary vision of the try line at the other end of the field. Well, that quickly disappeared. Well, quickly transitioned, didn't they, Hulk here from attack to defence. It was a forced offload, hits the deck, Ryan Hall can't get hold of it, and the Giants again working hard out of their own end. So here's Clue. High reaching pass, that's a huge pass left from Russell. And Masters stepping back on the inside and he swings it back. Russell's snared. But Huddersfield still in possession with a chance to go forward again. But one play to go inside their own half. Russell's kick. End over end, Evolts underneath it, safe pair of hands, in a position no doubt he'll feel very comfortable. It's an easy kick to catch, but it's probably one of the best ends to the set that Huddersfield Giants have put in in the opening eight, nine minutes. It's been a bit hurried, a bit rushed, a bit made up from them at the back end. Picked up by Litton. 
taken in again by Burgess, who's uh, hungry for the labours in these early stages. One try to his name already. And now Sue carries his side just a stride or two inside the opponent's half, but back he goes. Good wrestle reaction from the Giants' defence. Litton, Minchella, offers it back on the inside for Whitbread. Whitbread with a push. Litton marching over, one play to go. Back to May. End over end kick, Connor underneath it. The uh, Robbins fans trying to put him off, he's taken it well enough, but that's where they start from, Barry. Yeah, there's a big travelling army, isn't there, from the Hull KR side. Well, this Great is work from Adam Swift. Terrific from Swift. And on they come again with Masters. Tyra Mays across there to keep him company. Swift's in the middle again, looking for a bit of the action, but um, it's taken on instead by Murchie. It's Kudja. What a servant of the club he's been. The kick away by Clune. There was a collision there with Hadley as he kicked away, but it's all OK. The pickup is not the cleanest, but Evolds does have time to recover his position. And this time it's Hulkingston Rovers' turn to look at the big yards ahead of them now. Adam Clune and Huddersfield Giants just trying to buy a bit of territory. Kicked on the fourth tackle. Everybody ready to chase. They realise field position has all been in favour of Hulk KR. It seems like a, a blink of an eye ago that Ryan Hall, who we saw in that last carry, was scoring that try. What was it, nine years ago now? That try for Leeds? 15, yeah, you're right, yeah. Over on the far side, Huddersfield Giants, again, another penalty. High tackle. So a touch finder from Lewis. And Hawkinson Rovers again start a set in good position. May. This is Whitbread. Spun around and down. Litton. Marching in. Minchella. And now Sue with a bit of urgency in his carry. Litton's got four to his left. They've numbered up on that side, but they're back to the middle of Minchella and Minchella. Looking again for the enthusiasm of Whitbread. Litton, patiently building here, but creeping ever closer. Minchella, eyes down and goes for the gold and gets a little offload away, which Litton does well to get a hold of there. Because that was a difficult pass under the circumstances, but he's OK. Whitbread again, May. May's got runners inside and out. One of those was Evels, who was chasing the kick. But the kick's too deep. Too strong, too strong at the back end of that set, but you feel like there's more purpose from Hulk here. Even with that offload and a little bit of stuff that's made up from them, the better reactions are from the players in pink shirts. Seven tackle count, so that was a zero. Taken on again by Sam Holsall. And here's Hill. I think Milner. overall they'll be delighted with the opening 12, 13 minutes. Danny Ward, Willie Peters. They haven't been flawless, but they've been pretty much. Well, they've been on top, haven't they? They've uh, dominated so far, but here come Huddersfield through Murchie. Back towards Russell and now Hill. Longest serving player in Super League, Chris Hill. What is it now? His um, 19th season, is it? Good heavens. Little kick over the top. Nevels bounces back into the in-goal area, but he was clearly starting from in the field of play when he leapt. No so room to move there from Evels. OK, I've got work on their hands here. And Huddersfield are making it harder. An intensity to their defence. Bachelor. How many tackles? Three. And they've barely got up to the 10-metre mark. Giants fans in full voice here because they are detecting that their side are just putting their opponents under pressure and the kick downfield is caught cleanly by Connor and when Connor returns it, well, he looks out for Swift and Swift will head for the halfway line at the very least. This is brilliant from Adam Swift. 
a dodge and a weave. Hiku with a tackle, but Huddersfield starting the set and their opponent's half here. Yeah, moving the ball. Hasn't it been a good buy, Adam Swift? And the confidence from Jake Connor, you, you, you constantly see him looking to link up with some of the, the backfield players, and on that occasion, it gives him the best field position they've been in. Oh, holds his hand up, Chris Hill. He knows that that offload wasn't on. And this is Gildart for Hawkingston Rovers. 15 minutes played, still that one try so far. A real shame for the Giants, but good work from Elliot Minchella. Oh. Do you make a mistake? We make a mistake. Ryan Hall. So two of the most experienced players on the field have just put up back-to-back -back fumbles, and Huddersfield have possession back again. Even the best drop from Dorme, even the best. Well, Chris Hill, he forces an offload, and then Ryan Hall may be guilty of seeing what's in front of him. Probably wanted that ball out in front. Bounced off his... You have to say, it's a considerable chest. Considerable it's a everything. Chest. With it's a Ryan big Hall. chest. It's a big chest. Considerable everything. 100, 105, 106 kgs. And there's not much fat on him, is there? This is Huddersfield with an opportunity to try and make something happen. But my goodness, Hiku read that. And I think Ollie Russell felt that. But Huddersfield still in prime position. Milner. This is Connor and quick hands, and good hands from Nagama, and a cut back on the inside from Holsall. The Robins defense recovers in time, but it's another set of six here. The referee waving his arms as the Troy line is sought by Hewitt. And here comes Holsall at dummy half and back to Hill. Bachelor with a tackle, but Huddersfield are asking questions now. Knocking at this door, Hill with a pass away, not the best of passes, but it still goes Huddersfield's hands until it is knocked on, Hanley drops on it. It's going to be Huddersfield's ball. Yeah, they're going to get the ball back, but Ian Watson has brought, he's Mr. Solid, he's Mr. Reliable, Luke Yates on. I think in an attempt to stem the floor, try and wrestle the game back, but that's the second involvement from Chris Hill. He's catching and passing that. He's never, never got a chance of getting it to Leroy Kudjo. Good pressure from Dean Hadley, though. Rushed the stalwart into a decision he probably didn't want to make. So Huddersfield, Clune runs away from the base of the scrum. They got something planned here, but Gildart could see it coming, but he, he came from an offside position. Just that touch with the foot, wasn't it, at the back of the scrum? Loose forward just gets hold of the ball, just keeps it in for that half a second. So we're going to choose to rebind the scrum. Yep, it's um, a rule they reintroduced, didn't they, a couple of years ago? It's actually the back row that keeps it in the scrum. Well, they've got another scrum play up their sleeves here, potentially. I suspect, would it? It'll be the first scrum, scrum play they set out with. Let's have a look. Well, this time they go left. <laughs> Milner throws it wide. And a little dodge and a weave. But Russell's going to be held up. But five plays to have a go. A real go. What an opportunity. Kutcho straightening things up and pushing hard. It's taking four of them, and he's still pushing. They're, they're getting him safely over the line so that they've got to go back 10 metres and play the ball here. OK, I was confident they're comfortable. All they'll do is keep the ball away from the floor and just take him into the in goal his clue offers it back again for Hewitt Milner in position Kudjo has a dummy runner back to Hill Hill puts some footwork on left foot step he's not scored a try for nigh on two years Chris Hill but uh, he fancied a bit of white line fever there just momentarily but it stopped as he does the hands are good here it's back with Swift Swift though Put down by May. Great recovery from the Robins' defence. Because the Giants were looking slick then, just for the moment. Russell with a kick, the chase is on, but Evels is there and goes to ground. And that's rather given away easily, isn't it? Good defence from Hulkiar, under a little bit of stress. You know with Huddersfield Giants, plenty of passes. They're trying to attack the edges, get to the centres, get to the wingers, but they were up to that task. And again, for Huddersfield Giants, a kick that will give them some confidence. They prefer to transition.
hand that ball over on their own terms. Well, oh, there's Ryan Hall again. I mean, we, we wax lyrical about his try scoring, but that was a really good carry out. And also Lewis. So they've, they've chewed up a few metres here with a winger and a half. And now they can go wide. There's a step from Burgess, who shrugs off one tackle, is still going, and Swift is across there. So make sure he's going no further. But my word, they've covered some distance. And now on the last, May puts the kick high up in the air. Connor's got eyes on it. The leap. Well, he's he went early. The ball's been dropped, and Hulky Sarovas get their reward. And look at the celebrations too. They know from being under pressure on their own line, half a chance from the Giants. They defended that threat, marched the Giants down, and then off the back of a good kick and an even better chase, they get some rewards. Jake Connor pleading that it was snatched out of his hands. He may well have a case, but the referee is not going to change his mind. He just here defensively, sound in 2024, averaging only two line breaks per game. So you have to work hard to break them down. Connor and Lewis coming together there, and that's the epitome of the word cheeky, that isn't it, yeah. those two? Anyway, Hulkingston Rovers have a great attacking position here, and this is Gildart. Stoutly dealt with by three defenders. Lewis inside. Oh, Tanganoa almost gave it away, but just about got, gets it back again. That would have been a frustrating moment. It's um, Litnat and Minchella goes wide, and this on the angle is an attempt by Whitbread. Quickly over there is Litton again. He's dashed into position. And now it's Minchella who's going to be held up. Trying to get an arm free here. Still going for the line as well. All kinds of things in his mind there, but in the end, he has to take the tackle. It's a slow one. Chris Hill getting involved, slowing it down. Michella has a look at him. Back it comes to Litton. Here comes Lewis. Lewis with a short pass. Tanginoa urging himself again for that line. Huddersfield desperately hanging on. Lewis now. He comes to the left hand side. Well, he was hoping there was something available left. There wasn't. And while he was hoping, Huddersfield were dealing with it. The Giants got up quick, trying to take those options away. But some nice interplay. Half back and back row combining. Kalepi Tanginoa. He's been a decent performer for his side so far. Just linking up, running oh. at Adam Clune. Brilliant defence. Brilliant from In fact, they're claiming a try here because the ball came free and they're claiming a try. So we're going to the video referee. Marcus Griffith. No try. So. It's zero tackle, we've got a live decision of no try, so we're checking how this ball comes out. So, at this point, the Huddersfield player is in possession of the ball. Can we see how the ball comes out at this point? No, we can't. We can't see how that ball has been dislodged from the tackle, so we'll change camera and see if we've got any different view. So we're looking at the ball. Have we got a view of the ball at any point there? No, we haven't. So this camera looks like we might have a view of how it comes out. So, we have at no point a view of the ball. Have we got a view of the ball yet? There's a view of the ball. It doesn't appear to be solely, it just appears to be lost. And it was lost forwards. So now, who is that ball grounded by? So we'll see if we've got any other angles, see how that ball comes out. So there's there's no clear action there on how the ball comes out. It just appears to be lost. And we'll see here how the ball comes out. It just appears to be lost. So now what we need to do is establish who grounds the ball first. So we're back to the grounding. So that is somebody with a pink sleeve. So if we pause it at this point when the ball is grounded, who has grounded that ball? That is a Hull KR player. Thank you, I have a decision. Well, an entanglement, an entanglement of limbs. Jez Litton got his hand on it. Well. 
Let's have a listen. Try is confirmed, and Jez Litton has just scored the cheekiest try of his career, I rather fancy. I'm struggling to understand how that ball, with all those bodies and arms around it, comes out. I, I don't believe for one second that it's a knock-on and a spill, because everybody will be tugging and pulling at it. You could argue that Sam Holsall has to keep hold of it, but all the pink shirts, all the arms, all the bodies, all the hands in and around. Well, only those players in that huddle will know who the guilty party is, but it's been given. Interestingly, the video referee saying he thought it had gone forward, had been dropped forward, but um, it's overridden. Here comes Lipton now, left-footed. Oh, has he? Has he? No, he's not. It's a scruffy-looking kick. He didn't deserve to go over. But a scruffy-looking try has given Hull KR an 8-0 lead here. An unbalanced the opening quarter has been about Hull KR. I, I, I question the validity of that try, but the effort and the involvement around it probably deserved it. Willie Peters, Danny Ward, coaching staff looking on, and then Ian Watson trying to get some information to his side, trying to fix up some of the glitches and the failings of the opening 20, 23 minutes. Back comes Whitbread. My goodness, that, uh, that is an incredible scoreline that we just saw there, didn't we? Hole four, lead 22. And they kicked off same time as us here, so... Four tries scored by Lee in that game. They had a few uh, issues, didn't they? I think um, Lachlan Lamb was being given the warm-up to see if he was fit one or two others as well but anyway Hull have got problems this year I think that's the conclusion we're drawing so far but they are they are struggling with injuries themselves as well anyway back to this game here comes Litton a try scorer he'll be telling his grandkids in years to come he, he scored a 90 yarder at Huddersfield <laughs> one day and this is a kick by Mikey Lewis I'm just, just talking about Hull FC Dave the only thing Hull FC fans love more than watching their side win is watching Hull FC lose. So it's double bubble for them today. Russell and now Swift. Who uh, steps back in. How long we played here now? 25 minutes. It's um, It's been lively. The Kingston Rovers will tell you it's been entertaining because they dominate the scoreboard as it stands. And this is... Uh, Good carry by Wilson inside Robbins' territory. Milner waiting, delivering the pass back on the inside. Clune and Russell sweeps it away. Connor quickly gets it on again. Masters in a swift on the outside, but Masters goes down with ball in hand. They've done that well, Hulkia. How many times have we seen Huddersfield catch the ball and pass it in the same motion because of the intensity in defence? Oh, it's a kick that's caused confusion. It's still the sixth tackle. And I think it's that Bachelor who's rescued the situation for Rovers. In terms of going back to the point, the, the passing game of Huddersfield Giants, it seems easy easily read by Hull KR, they might need to go forward, try and roll them down the field a little bit I challenge that kick, the Huddersfield Giants get it back, but the referee says still five, so they have to play Litton waits patiently to get the ball at the heels Minchella there's Litton again Just a thudding forward of big bodies led on that occasion by Batchelor and gets up and plays. And Litton comes back again. It's on the six, so Mikey Lewis left footed will put it high in the air. And there's plenty of time to think about that for Sam Holsall, but he's thought about it and he's caught it well. They'll be relieved, Huddersfield Giants. I don't think they've got a foothold in this game at all. They're persisting with finding the edges. <laughs> Maybe a couple of charges like that from the key, but... There's Kudjo. Just, just over the whitewash. And now, Luke Yates, the ever-reliable, the redoubtable Luke Yates. Another set of six here for Huddersfield, not square at the play. The ball we heard from the referee, so Kudjo takes in drive one. And five to go, Huddersfield 
desperately wanting to get themselves a bit of a response here. Yates again, tough as teak. In he goes and down he goes. Milner collects back to Clune. Clune out to Connor. Connor with a dummy just drew out the defender. Burgess was looking for interception there, but the ball never came out of Connor's hands. And now a pick up and a drive for the line, but Huddersfield are just about denied. Connor back to Russell. Here comes Kutcho. Kutcho with a short pass. Yates almost dragging himself through. But Tanganoa hangs on. Quickly goes Clune into dummy half. Now Russell on the six. Oh, and it's a, a flying attempt by Masters, but he can't bring it under control. Well, that's the best phase from Huddersfield Giants there. Some real penetrating carries. Not breaking the line, but bending the line. And off the back of that, he almost gets it, Masters. But LKR will take half from that, Barry, won't they? That they've survived another set on their line? Yeah, I, I do. I think they've lacked intensity in the carries. The back end of the sets, they haven't finished the sets well. Easily fixed for the Giants, but it's things like this that don't help me cause, giving penalties away. Nice shot, the referee says. Cheap possession, cheap handovers. So the things they need to fix up, the Huddersfield Giants are in the control. Mikey Lewis, was this a high shot? Have a look at that. I think, it's, I think it's a third man in with a tackle complete, is it? I'm not sure what that was given for anyway. where the high tackle comes from. No. Sometimes they're like magic. The Robins ain't complaining. They've been given a great position here, great starting point. Luckily he's on the field as we just, just saw. And here comes Hadley. Litton. Inside for Minchella. Minchella back to May. May, on again it goes to Batchelor. The Robins are moving closer. Litton is across there. This is May again. And back to Lewis with a little spring in his step. Drawing them out and Ryan Hall pushes off one. The way opens for him. And my goodness, how many times have we seen him get across the line from that kind of range in his career. But Huddersfield's defence just about getting a hold it's another set of six as Tangina arcs in and gives the Robins that starting position Litton Minchella back for Hadley Hadley thudding forward the heavy artillery trying to break down the walls might they go wider this time it's back down the middle again with Luckley Luckley the Geordie tries to twist and turn and dragging himself over the line but somehow the Giants hang on Litton again, skips it back to Minchella. May's there and waiting. Well read by Milner, but May bumps him off and gets it away. Hiku with a little step, footwork's on, but so too is the defence. Right on song. Batchelor, big back to bend, but up he goes. Puts it back to May. Now it's with Hadley. Hadley on the angle and full of intent. Well met again, last play in this set. It's... Litton out to Lewis, Lewis with a kick, and Clune, clever hands, manages to somehow give it Huddersfield back again. Well, the body language and the body motion of Mikey Lewis at the back end, he's commanding that ball and had that kick gone where it should have done. OKR could again have registered four points, but Clune just gets himself in the way, and at the minute, that's what they have to do. They're clinging on here, the Huddersfield Giants. Tuilola here enters the field. Ian Watson just wants to break this game open. Well, they, they, they've got a, a few wrongs to right, haven't they, the Robins? Oh, this is a kick from deep by Lola Hay up. Is he looking for a 40-20? The bounce doesn't help, and across comes Evolds. And um, Evolds looking to make this a more advantageous start. Robins have got a few points to prove, haven't they, today, given the last couple of weeks. They've not lost heavily, but they've lost two on the bounce, and... They'd have been disappointed in, in their performances at times in those there's, two games. There's, there's big expectations on both of these two teams, but Hulkiar, as you say, it was a narrow defeat, close defeat last week. That game could have gone either way. The expectation for Hulkiar fans, I certainly put them in the top five, top four possible for this year. 
the balance of the side, the way that everybody fits in the respective positions and then complements each other. It will take a while to gel, it will take a while to get there. Litton, back it comes to Lewis. And here's Tanganella, pushing in, pushing hard. Enough Giants defenders in attendance to make sure there's no offload there. Lewis, down this tight side, puts the kick up, up in the air. Whole souls underneath it. Again, plenty of thinking time, plenty of hang time, but he's taken it safely, but doesn't get too far because of that Robbins chase. OK, are happy with that. They put the kick in, defensive line is set. And they're looking to dominate that play of the ball, slow them down, buy some time, take some energy out of the tank of the Giants players. Clune spinning it left, Connor gets it on again, and here comes Swift, and Swift trying to create a little bit of room for himself. But too many defenders just driven in towards that halfway line. Kujo, Connor, a little flicked pass away. Paul Saul could see the light ahead of him darkening quickly because of those defenders coming across. So for safety's sake, cuts back inside. Last play. Clune with a kick. Was that late from Hadley? Yes. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And maybe after the other Giants talked already about Hulkar getting up and putting pressure on some of the pivots for the Giants catching and passing Adam Clunes. Well, Dean Hadley, who worked so hard on the small things, kick pressure, inside work, working from marker, a really reliable member of the squad. Interesting to see there that Jez Litton gave him a, a real mouthful, didn't he? Hadley, as if to say, we've done all that hard work and now you've given them this position back again. Lola here. Inside track is sought by Hewitt, and Hewitt is still pushing hard and gets the offload away. And Lola Hayes there as a surge. Rovers defense recovering. Pick themselves up from this. Huddersfield bench looking on and desperate for something before the half time Hooter signs, I'm sure. Holly Wilson takes it back 10. Oh, that's a drop, a drop from Murchie. And just as Hull KR had given Huddersfield cheap possession and position, Huddersfield have handed it back again rather cheaply. It is a drop, but I'll tell you what it is. Tyrone May under pressure with a back row running at him, uses perfect technique, dips, hits underneath the ball and dislodges it. There's a lot of celebrations in the Hull KR players. Whenever they get a win defensively, they're all getting round each other. You can see the influence Willie Peters has had during his time. It has been in the defensive department. Well, Willie Peters will be a happier coach today than he has been in the last couple of weeks just at the moment. Danny Ward alongside him. I wonder what Danny Ward's thoughts are on London at the moment, because, of course, he was coach there, wasn't he, when uh, they were up in 2019 and very nearly kept them up as well, yeah. didn't he, against expectations? Did remarkably well and still well thought of. I was down there a couple of weeks ago, still talking about the word that Danny Ward had done and the team spirit now being built on in 2024. Here, yeah. OK, just trying to burst their way out of trouble. Litton, Hadley, Tanganoa. Going backwards, some big bruising shoulders coming in. Led on that occasion by Kevin Nagama, and this is Luckley. Can't extricate himself from the attentions of those three defenders. Litton, back to Lewis. Lewis on the left foot. The ball wobbles in the air. It bounces, it spikes, and it drops into the hands of Connor, which he'll be very thankful for in the end. And Swift now will try to carry it on, puts the footwork on Hiku, and comes back towards the middle again here. He's toying with them just for the moment, Adam Swift. Trying to move the ball around. As soon as the receiver from the Giants gets it, he's looking for somebody to pass to. Trying to get to those edges. Trying to get to the centre, the half-back, and make them uncomfortable in defence. There's Lola here. Lobs it out for Hulsall. 
Sam Holsall, the ex the ex Wigan man, of course. Kutjo back on the inside again. Another set of six for Huddersfield to work with. Wilson upended, but Huddersfield going forward, and it's not been played properly. I tell you, it's been a characteristic of this game, hasn't it? That certainly from Huddersfield's point of view, they've not been able to develop as they would like because of those silly errors. And again, they are self-inflicted mistakes. There's a big focus in 2024. Play the ball correctly. Attempt to play it with your foot, which he probably did, but not nowhere near enough. And Oliver Wilson's trying to play the ball quick. You can see what he's trying to do, but get the basics right. Get the fundamentals right, or you'll be punished. It, it's a habit that players will develop, won't they? Um, as the season well, goes grow on. Up with it. It's not like you're bringing something new in it. It gets lost at the top level at Super League. Yeah. And it shouldn't do, and I'm in favour of bringing it back, yes. So there's an advancement here from George King. Litton. Here's Hadley. A couple of plays left in this set, and Litton's going to have a little dabble himself here. He just suspected they might have clocked off behind the rock, but they've clocked back on again. So last play, Lewis has a look up, left footed, tries to tease that one over, but huge leap by Swift. Burgess was never even in the picture. No, it has to be better to beat Adam Swift. You want a little bit more hang time, and the changes made by the Huddersfield Giants, Tuilola here playing at nine, flitting between Oli Russell, Oli Russell and Tuilola here, but he's in the defensive line. I'm sure that Hulk Kiar have talked about running at him, sending numbers at him. This is Kudjo. Lola here, waiting till Kudjo's finished doing his work of taking his side forward. Yates. Now they begin to loop right. Clune runs straight into literally his opposite number, Mikey it, Lewis. It looks like it's passing for passing sake to me. Get some intensity in those carries. There's Connor, my word, he's got that spinning and swirling, and Burgess does well to settle himself in the right position. Ebbles. Last 40 seconds, Hulkingston Rovers presumably happy here to see this half hat with their two try advantage. Here's Gildart. Is there time for Huddersfield to get the ball back? I don't think so, with still a couple of plays to go here. He's slow to his feet. There's, there's a bit of time. They're making sure that... That was a heavy challenge, wasn't it, from Luke Yates? A little bit of a chat as well. The, the, the full-time is going to sound before he plays that one. Anyway, here we go. Half-time Hooter does sound. The kick down field, it's still in play. It's still live. And Connor's quite happy to put that out of play and to end the half and get back in the, the dressing rooms at half-time and have a chat with each other about what might be going wrong from Huddersfield's point of view. But Jez Litton's cheeky try in the 22nd minute added to Joe Burgess's score in the third minute has given Huddersfield a bit of a problem because Hulkingston Rovers have the lead by eight points to nil. And it's a lead that is probably justified as well. That happened only three minutes before, after the Hooter had uh, got us underway, and then a scruffy try there as well. And we'll be back for analysis very soon. On Sky Sports, and coming up later today, you can see Catalan against Castleford. It's a 5.30 kickoff. And tomorrow, London against Warrington. Three o'clock kickoff for that one as well. Uh, down in the capital, down in Wimbledon. They should be hopefully two mouth-watering fixtures for you to look forward to as well. Can London get their first win of this Super League season? We shall see. Live only on Sky Sports, 5.25 on air for that first one this afternoon. Catalan Castleford on Sky Sports Action and the same channel tomorrow. 2.55 build-up for a 3 o'clock kickoff. Also, 
on Sky Sports Action. But in the here and now, half time, it's Old Kingston Rovers who are looking the happier at the moment, leading by eight points to nil. The Joe Burgess try and the Jez Litton try giving them that advantage. What have you made of that first half, Barry? A tremendous first half for Hull KR. And Huddersfield Giants, well, they just can't handle the kicking game. Michael Lewis, high hanging. And that chase from Hull KR, everybody making it ever so difficult for Sam Halsall. On that occasion, he drops the ball from that field position. Delightful pass there from the fullback Niall Avil put Joe Burgess in in the corner. Just three minutes on the clock. First time they'd had a look at the line and the Giants left wanting. The defence hasn't been able to handle the penetration of Hull KR. When they've had a go with the ball, they've tried but the defence of the Robins hasn't looked rattled at any point, and there's just no way through for the Giants. There's a mistake here, Mikey Lewis and Jake Connor colliding. This is the contentious one for me. I feel certain that ball stripped. It's impossible to tell from any of the angles, but just with the bit, the ball leaves the contact area. Doesn't matter for Hull KR. Jez Litton, the first to get his hand on the ball, 23 minutes on the clock, 8-0, and from that point on, the Giants probably fumbled away into the game. Eason Masters couldn't collect the kick from Ollie Russell. And when Clunes was hit late by Hadley, they had another go, but they just looked sound to me. They look like they're in control. Celebration from Jez Litton means they're happy and content to defend and defend each other's mistakes. Good stuff from Hull KR. Well, as ever, the key stat is the top one. Hulking Sarovas leading 8-0, but you can see there they've dominated possession and completion as well, 86%. Huddersfield with seven errors in that first half. And just the four, say just the four, they want to tidy that up as well, whole Kingston Rovers. But we are looking forward to what should be uh, a really good, intense second half here. Can whole Kingston Rovers hold on to this eight-point lead or do Huddersfield find a way back? Full second half commentary coming up in just a moment. It's time to set it up for the same play again for yeah. Pappenhausen to score. Hughes, Peasant, Pappenhausen, Remus Smith, he goes to the oh, 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 oh. Can you believe it? Tates! My gosh! He leaps across. He jumped like a rainbow and came up with a pot of gold for Melbourne. Unbelievable! What a finish to an incredible game. Heartbreaker for the Warriors, but Melbourne, fantastic. What a try in the dying moments. More tomorrow, Dolphins against the Dragons at 7.15 a.m. You can watch that on Sky Sports Arena and Sky Sports main events tomorrow morning. Put the kettle on, make yourself a cup of coffee, get your bottle of porridge and watch some uh, NRL as well. This is the halftime situation here in Huddersfield. Hawkins to Rovers leading by eight points to nil, a try for Burgess and a try for Lytton. And Barry, let's just have another look at those uh, those two tries from that first half. Well, the Giants have really struggled with the kicking game of Hulk KR. Lovely intervention there from the fullback nine levels. Quick catch and pass, and Joe Burgess goes in in the corner. Intelligent aggression in defence from Hulk KR. And with the melee of players, Jez Litton just pats the ball down, 8-0. They failed to convert either of those two tries. But from the Giants' point of view, he might need to strip that game back and simplify it a little bit. Reminder of uh, what we've seen so far. Wigan winners on Thursday night. Those two late tries giving that scoreline a little semblance of comfort that probably wasn't the case. Well, definitely wasn't the case on Thursday. And Leeds set up like a house on fire in the opening minutes against St. Helens. But St. Helens dug in and came back to win that one, 18 points to 8. 8-0 eight here. And um, Hull FC 4, Lee 30 is a latest score. So Hull's travails 
continue this season. Coming up later, Catalan Castleman and tomorrow, of course, London against Warrington as advertised. So an expectation for the second half. Huddersfield coming out at the start of this um, second period. You talk about Hull KR being a top four, top five side. There was a lot of talk about Huddersfield last year as being potential yeah. silverware chasers. Less talk this year, but it's still basically the same squad. Do you see them as potential playoff makers this year? Well, there's less talk about Huddersfield Giants because you don't have much faith. Having experienced and witnessed what they, what they went through last year, and that was interesting for me that the home side out first, as you'd expect, Luke Yates, the emotional leader of his side, sprinting out on the field, trying to banish the memory of that first half. Nowhere near the best. But it's only 8-0. I suppose that's the uh, the consoling factor from Huddersfield's point of view. Oh, Hawkins, the Rovers, looking to build on what they've had. We're waiting for the referee here, haven't we? We've got two sets of players. We just need a referee. I think he's got uh, technical issues, the referee. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> technical issues. He was changing his mic. That's why he's uh, just organising the outfit before he returns. Tom Grant, referee here today. We picked up on the referee's mic. Jake Connor pleading with the referee about the Sam Halsall fumble. They don't change the mind after it's been scored, do they? So it will be Hawkins to Rovers who get first touch of the ball in this second half and immediately Sam Luckley looking to bring it back. What do the Giants need to change? What do the Rovers need to keep on doing in this second half? Well, Hulkey are a play behind that strong kicking game. The intensity in the chase, the commitment in the chase and the accuracy of those kicks. And they've been clinical when they've been down the right end of the field, they've been clinical. None of that applies to the Giants. Litton remaining in that dummy half position, no doubt at some point we'll see Matt Parcell coming on and just inje injecting a little bit of lightning in there as well when some of the Huddersfield's players are feeling the fatigue at the most. So that's, that's a good little double act that it is, Rovers have it got. It is, Woodsy, and I think Brian and the lads in the studio have, have talked about it a few times. The complication now for Willie Peters is he's the best kicker, Jez Litton, so when he makes that change, Willie Peters, he's got to think how it will affect when those tries are scored and potentially converted. Well, that's a moot point today, isn't it? Because he's missed both conversions. So that's that, he's still, that remains the issue for Rovers this year, the goal kicking. It, it sounds basic, doesn't it? But it's so important to have played with two cracking players who turned four into six every time one was Andy Farrell one was Kevin Sinfield and you knew as soon as the try was scored four turned into six there's Lola here at a dummy half coach who's reasonably happy so far in the shape of Willie Peters Huddersfield progressing at the moment can they put a bit of pressure on their opponents? Here comes Connor, delaying the pass, Masters out. Swift's got a lot to do. The kickback on the inside, Masters is claiming that he was pushed off the ball there by Peter Hiku. The referee wants none of that. And in the meantime, Ryan Hall will bring it a long way clear. 35, 36 metres from the veteran from that kick. But that's the best shape, the best attack Huddersfield Giants have put in for me. Well, they Gildard find some has, space on the edge. Gildard has taken Rovers inside the Huddersfield half and on tackle three through uh, Hadley. Look where they are. Gildard again. This is Hicker getting the arm free. Thought about the pass inside. Lola Hale was just hovering there or thereabouts, so it made it dangerous. He keeps a hold, does Hicker. But they've got two plays to have a go on the line. Who'd have thought that from where they started? Litton to Lewis. Lewis with a short pass. Luckily with a push, and a big surge as well. Huddersfield just about sorting out that problem. But here comes another. Last play. Lewis, a chip, a delicate chip. Hiku is the target, and Hiku is the scorer. My word, he put that in the air on a plate. And Hiku with a knife and fork has devoured it. And Hull KR have a third try. Well, what a kick. Talks about the kicking game. Talks about Mikey Lewis in particular, and you would have thought at half time the Giants collectively would have said, Let's take some time away from him because 
he can do things like that. Petr Hiku, for the first time in 2024, lines up in the centre. He outjumps his opponent, times it to perfection, and the perfect start for the men in pink. That's absolutely delightful, isn't it? Wonderful execution from Hulkiar. Well, they struck early in the first half, and they've struck almost at the same time at the start of the second half, and that has given Huddersfield a real problem because at the moment, 12-0, but if he can kick this over, that three-score lead just ups the ante psychologically. They haven't been anywhere near in this game at, at any point, the Giants. I'm delighted for Hiku that he's been under the microscope at fullback. That will do his confidence the world of good. Litton. Just settling himself here and strikes it well, and no doubts about that one. And it is a 14-0 lead, and they are pushing to a relatively comfortable situation here, Hulk AR. Huddersfield need a response, and quickly. That big travelling army to our left. We're watching the far end of the field. That's born out of practice on the training field. Understanding instinctively where they need to be. And at what timing? And they've been rewarded, haven't they, those loyal travelling fans? So here comes the restart. And Hulking's the Rovers back in possession. But a, a little bit of bad news for Hulk KR. We're being told that George King has gone off with a hamstring injury. Started on the bench, only came on five minutes before the... Uh, the half-time Hooter and has now gone with that hamstring which puts him out for the rest of the game at the moment that is not too big a problem for Rovers they've got a penalty here because of that lead that they have yeah it will affect the rotation but he went big with his side didn't it King luckily Tanganoa and then Matt Parcel just to add a little bit of variety but he's got two out of the three big men from the bench to choose from And the Giants, they're trying to fix it up. And sometimes players fall into the habit of trying too hard. They'll force an offload. They'll be extra aggressive on a challenge. And on that occasion, the referee blew his whistle. So Mikey Lewis finds touch. It's a decent kick. Well, there you can see that that completion rate remains high. Meters high as well. Everything on that reflecting the scoreline. It's not just that they've had the ball more, they've completed higher. It's what they've done when they've had the ball. Powerful charges, getting through defensive lines, bending the line and leaving defenders on the floor, late retreaters, all adds to that rook speed that the halves thrive off. Litton back to the middle and Hadley, and Hadley away to May, and May offers it back on the inside as well, and Tanganoa's having a push here. Big push. To occupy the minds and the brute force of those three Huddersfield defenders until eventually he plays it and Lytton comes skipping out and Hadley is on a bit of an angle here he's uh, suggesting he wanted to squeeze that ball away to Luckley but the Giants defense is too good for that on that occasion Lytton Luckley's inside but May further right and Hicko with a quick hands and here comes Burgess but Huddersfield scrambling, just doing enough. Evolts inside for May. Last play, they're going to go through hands. Hiku, again, they're looking for some clever stuff, but Bachelor can't do much. Oh, he's gone backwards. Still five. Evolts inside. Here comes Litton. Litton now puts a kick up towards Gildart. Gildart gets up there, but it's in the hands of Holsholt. Huddersfield having back. Well, the Giants just aren't finishing these tackles off. That ball was offloaded. I'm almost certain he was on the floor and allowed to pass the ball, but credit Hulk here for playing on, playing to the whistle. There's Clune. This is Swift. What Huddersfield could do with him making a, an 80-yard break at some point to lift their spirits and get that momentum going forward, but they're struggling at home here at the moment. The Huddersfield Giants. They're one home game so far this season. They were pointless against St. Helens. Nil 28, they're pointless again here so far today, so they've yet to score at home this year, the Giants. 
And they're going to be struggling to get hold of the ball here as Hall brings it forward again. Another set of six and eventually oh, and again, a penalty. penalty. An another example of players trying too hard. It was an energetic and enthusiastic chase. Ryan Hall collected it. And then the Giants couldn't resist. It's late. There you see, second effort. Ryan Hall looks at the referee and the referee agrees. And Mikey Lewis again clears the lines with a kick that puts Hulkingston Rovers in a very decent starting position. Gildart taps and goes. And Lewis in at dummy half, one-handed pickup and scrambling again. There's only one side full of confidence at the moment. It is all flowing left to right. Can the Giants stem the tide? Litton, Hadley, no Luckley. In with ambition, but down. So Litton waits again. Hadley's involved again. Back to May. May back on the inside goes Tanginoa, who sweeps it away to Litton. It's Lewis now, who shrugs off Clune's attempted tackle, but can't get past the next man, Lollahea. But they've still a couple of plays to go here. May standing right. May up to the line. The kick is on for Hiku to chase, but my goodness, he needed jet heels to get to that. Yeah. Well, some lovely stuff, some lovely interplay with Hull KR. You can see one side is full of confidence and one side is searching for it and trying too hard, as we've talked about. Some nice offloads, some nice... Angles of running from Hulkiar in full control here as we approach 50 minutes. But it's nearly two hours of rugby league they've had on their home ground this year and not a single point to show for that. That is going to be a concern, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, but it is. There's some consolation in the fact that their next four Super League games are all away from home. They're OK away from home. But they have a penalty here, so maybe, maybe there's an opportunity just to break their duck here. Desperate for that, the Giants. Desperate. Tap and go. Yates, one man. Leading by determination. Milner inside for Lola here. This now is Rushton, who's on the field from the interchange bench. Harry Rushton. Spell in Australia with camera, of course, a couple of years ago. Lola Hare puts it back to Clune. Clune with the dummy, almost finding a way through. But Lewis is there with the rescue tackle. The Gama. Connor. Pick up by Rushton again. Playing down the middle here. Well, they're within sight. And they've got another set of six to go as well. Referee waves a restart of the tackle count. Yates smashes forward. Into the half. Position goes Milner. Clune on his right hand side. Clune with a footwork. Tangina slows him down. And he's stopped by Whitbread. Back it's spun again. Rushton quickly away as Luckley advances. Lola Hare with a pass. A step away from Masters. Masters now just surrounded by defenders. Nowhere to go. Just a pink wall in front of him. It's outstanding for Mulkey. I've lost count of the times players have caught and passed at the same time. Rushed them back on the inside. Brilliant stuff. Wilson puts it down and full marks to the Rovers' defence again. And again, the celebrations from Mulkey. The Giants off the back of a penalty, the back of a sixth again, held the nerve. And that inside ball there, you can see Jez Litton, Jai Whitbread. Oliver Wilson fumbles the ball. But again, to reiterate, when the key players, when the spine players, the 1, 6, 7 and 9, Connor, Adam Clune, I think Tuilola here is playing in the halves, are catching it with a view to putting a play on. They have a defender in the face, which is rushing them into a decision. Great effort from Hulk here. So this wait for points at home carries on as... Ryan Hall leads the Robins' attempt to get away from what they consider the wrong end of the ground. Gildart now. Another carry. Rushing it in. Litton. Slam back again. Be 
Burgess with that latest carry, and here comes Hadley. Four gone, two to go in this set. It's back with Litton. Minchella to May, and May quick hands, and Evolt is chiming in, and Evolt senses a chance here, and he backs his speed superbly well inside. I think oh. there was a handoff lower here, and it's just turning into the path of Hiku, and Hiku will score, and that was terrific from Hulkingston Rovers. But we're going to have to wait. Soft signals try. Let's have a look at a video referee's assemb ass assembly of this. So it's tackle four. We've got an on-field decision of a try. We just need to make sure that this ball comes off the Huddersfield player and doesn't get knocked on by Hull KR. So at this point, the ball is passed. Has the ball been touched? So it doesn't appear to have been touched by that first Huddersfield player. The ball appears to have been touched there by a Huddersfield player. So we will now check this angle. So the ball has been touched by Huddersfield. Does it ever get touched forward at this point by Hull KR? Has it ever touched his finger? The live call is try. So it doesn't appear to hit Peter Hiku's hand at this point. It's touched Tui Lolly here's hand. So now what Hiku needs to do is pick the ball up cleanly, which he does, and then we can go through to the grounding. Thank you, I have a decision. It's Peter Hiku's second try of the game. Confirmation coming, confirmation given. Hiku second, and I tell you what, Niall Evels made a real case for playing at fullback every week there, didn't he? Yeah, clinical and ruthless from Hulkiar. Niall Evels just manages to find some space, ball in two hands, defenders unsure who's going to get it. Wonderful sweeping play, you can see he's got his back to the play, hasn't it? He? Eason Masters, he can't recover, he desperately tries to get hold of the collar of Niall Evolds. He did his best, didn't he, to a lola here, but he's just simply handed it into the path. So here's Jez Litton looking for another, turning the screw on the Huddersfield Giants here. Little look up, little look down. And over it goes, his second goal of the game as well. Two out of four for him today, 20 points to nil. Hulkingston Rovers now lead. Scoreboard pressure isn't there for the home side now, but Nile Evolds, with all the experience, drifts into the hole, glides into the hole, tries to find the pass on the inside, but ultimately, because Petr Hiku is there, he picks up the bouncing ball, but that scoreline is an ugly scoreline, 20 points to nil. I think they've only threatened the line once or twice, haven't they, Woods? It. Yeah. The Huddersfield Giants. Well, they found scoring easy last Move week against home. Castleford away. Oh. And they had that opening win away at Lee. And look at that as well. Lee 42, oh, oh, now back. hole four. I think it was 30 points to four at half time, but Lee are romping there. Move. So West Hole. It's having its travails, but East Hull is enjoying itself here. Well, just going back to the to the game this afternoon, the defence of Hull KR has been phenomenal. As we said, on average, only conceding two line breaks, and it's been even better this afternoon. On the sixth, Lewis puts it high in the air. Connors underneath it, and Connor finds himself with nowhere to go. I think you said it ten minutes ago. Doesn't it even Penalty. introduce Matt Parcel yet? Oh, that's a disaster, isn't it, Jake Connor? Starting to lose his composure now. As he stands up to play the ball, you can see it's a bit of a nothing return from that kick. And he's all over. Is it Joe Burgess? Yeah, he's all over Joe Burgess. You can see, interferes with him. 
hand on ankle, and it's just an easy decision for the referee. One, and it has given Hawking Sarovas this position. It spins it in, and that was a knock-on yet. That looked untidy. So, so again, mistakes are exchanged, and Huddersfield get it back. Jake Connor, big smile on his face. He knows that could have been disastrous for his side. But the way that they've been defending their own try line, he doesn't... He rolls it, he touches it with his foot, but doesn't roll it backwards. I'm going to say it again. Well, do you talk from day dot to play the ball, play the ball correctly? But under fatigue, under pressure, everything goes to pop. There's Milner, and here comes a lot of hair. Take a heap It's a bit of urgency in this Huddersfield side now. Lola Hare again. Connor trying to draw at Burgess. Masters, oh, good step from him, but just a hand on Hiku, which has knocked his balance. Here's Lola Hare again. And Clune, and away it goes to Connor on that right hand side now. Nagama, he's got the footwork. We know that, but quickly assembled around by those Hulking the Rovers defenders again. So on the last, Clune clobbers it high in the air. This should be Burgess, and it is. It takes it comfortably, doesn't it? And they're trying to get him over that sideline, but that set of six all came from Ike for penetrating run with some intensity, created some momentum. Well, this is a big effort from Huddersfield in defence. Two gone, and they are still barely cleared of their own goal line here, Rovers. Into that dummy half position is Parcel now. Parcel again picks up. And it's the Robins who've got work to do, and the Giants are desperate to keep them down there so that when they get the ball back, they're in the best position possible. They've got to be even better at the play of the ball now. Rook speed and rook control with that man on the field is crucial. Lewis belts it, but it springs into the hands of Connor. It's a, it's a good chase from Hull KR. They got up reasonably quickly there. And it means that when Connor goes down, the Giants start still 10 short of that halfway line. Holsall. Rovers fans in great voice at the moment. The Giants fans, just a little silence. Lola Hea skipping around. Can he give their supporters some hope here? Hewitt down. Here's Milder. Clune just wanders to his right, but it comes back middle again. Rushton with a short pass. Milner again. Lola here. Wow. Dreadful mistake. No, it's just not been their afternoon, has it? And the, the worry is it could get really ugly for Huddersfield Giants. Still the final quarter to go. Fatigue setting in. The Hulk have brought the dynamo. Matt Parcell from the back of the play of the ball. To a Lola here. Simple basic mistake and then a penalty to back that up. It's death by a thousand cuts, and it? it's just really simple, basic mistakes having massive effects on the game. Icky four goes in. I think he's the fourth defender. The referee don't like it. It's in, in or around the head, and it's just needless, isn't it? Frustrated. Each player individually trying his best to wrestle the game back. There's just that that feel of frustration around Huddersfield at the moment. I think that sums it all up, really, doesn't it? Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, the contract is secondary. You've got to be careful with that, though, OK? There's also a drop in eye, OK? Just a talking to. Would have been hard. You could see Hikahifu was fearing the worst Absolutely, there. Absolutely, as we all are now watching games in 2024, but I think he's handled that well, Tom Grant. He's read the situation, knows that players are frustrated, and he's just put that little marker down, hasn't it? And without saying it, he's told everybody any more of that, and there's a yellow coming. Hulkingston Rovers are poised again. 
looking for more on a day that's been theirs by a distance so far. It's going to be Parcel in at acting half, searching inside. Michella offloads back to May. Here's danger because May can create. He's having a look, seeing what's available. In the end, he just drops it off to Bachelor and Bachelor with a heavy duty stuff to take it in. Nothing on, so let the big fella have a go. Here comes Parcel again. Now it's Minchella. And now Lewis. And Lewis puts it back. And Evels is chiming in again. And that was brilliant play again from Niall Evels. And he's put one on the plate for Ryan Hall to score. But Evels again is provider supreme. And Ryan Hall just racks up another one in pursuit of being Super League's top try scorer. We seem to talk about it every week. Four to go now for Ryan Hall. Wonderful play from the Rovers. Came from that mistake, that penalty from Ikehifo. But the dynamic back line from Hulke are just devastating. The way that they link up, the way that players are pushing into holes. Minchella links up with Mikey Lewis. And then has knee been good. High levels, first run for his side at fullback. And he's giving his coach. I don't suppose he had a headache. He's made that decision bravely, Willie Peters, to swap it around. But a lot to think about for Ian Watson. That scoreboard, James, James with Batchelor. 18 minutes left, could get really, really ugly. James Batchelor taking over the uh, the kicking duties here with uh, Jez Litton off the field. But Ryan Hall winding in at Danny Maguire with every passing week. He's now on, let me do the sums, 243 in his Super League only career. Danny Maguire was 247. So four tries away from equaling him. James Batchelor's had a few of these as a makeshift kicker. Is this going to be his first success? No, it's not. So he's still searching to break that duck. It's a thankless task, isn't it? If you're not born and bred and you're not somebody who's kicked from an early age, it's such a difficult skill to pick up. But this is skill at the highest level. Players running onto the ball because of the accuracy of passes. They're running at full tilt. The space is created and it's been a good afternoon for the Hulky are coaching staff. Short kickoff. They've gone short. Do they get it back? Yes, they do. I think it's Holsall who's going to come up with it here. So Huddersfield have it back. But my goodness, they need a miracle from here, don't they? Not just short kickoffs, they need a miracle because it has all gone against them. Can they find a way to breach this Robbins line? That's the bare minimum at the moment as Yates. Thunders it forward again. Milner into position. Lola here to his left, but he goes right. Nika Hifo is pushing. Milner eventually slow. Back it comes. Lola here tries to step again. away from there. That defender spotting Lola here. Tyrone May out of the line shuts it down. A little kick to the in-goal area, there's a fumble, it's not a try, but Huddersfield will get the ball back here. That's better, along the floor, makes it difficult to handle, makes it with feet and boots everywhere. Hulkia fumble it, Joe Burgess, 6-3, 6-4, just can't get down low enough to pouch that ball. Eason Masters and Huddersfield Giants. I think you'd probably say they forced that. But we haven't had to say that too many times. They'd forced a mistake. So what do they play here? Well, they're not coming left, are they? There's nobody there. Everybody's on that right-hand side. So there's no disguising what's the direction of it, Connor. But uh, Rovers' defence has been super smart. Ryan Hall came racing in there to close things down. This is Rushton. 
Harry Rushton pushing. Four plays. Four plays. Is this going to be the moment? The first time the home fans get a chance to cheer this year. Masters searching in the inside. And that Gama came like a bullet. And I tell you what, it was worth waiting for. That first try of this season because it was pretty special. Nagama recovered 40 yards before he took the pass. Put himself in the frame, Nagama, ran onto it like his life depended on it. There's some booze from the whole KR fans. You can just see at the top of your screen there, one of the whole KR players down. But the two centers combining, look at the commitment in this line. A flat pass onto a charging Nagama. And at last, Huddersfield Giants trouble the scoreboard. I think it's too little too late. And the kick was good, and it's 24 points to six. I think it's too late to suggest a recovery here, but at least they've got a little bit of self-pride back. And it has taken a long, long time this year for this special moment. Right under the under the sticks for the centre. You can just feel, can't you, how disappointed Huddersfield Giants are. No celebration. And the coach will be frustrated. He knows his side are better than this. Two hours and 25 minutes of rugby league at the John Smith Stadium for Huddersfield to finally score their first points of the 2024 Betfred Super League season. One, and I hate two, to say it, running forward, running with commitment, running with intensity. The Giants have been a bit too a bit too lateral for me this afternoon, going from side to side and passing for passing sake. Is there more to come? Clune to Lola here. Climbed all over by Minchella. Concern for Hulk KR, by the way, because Mikey Lewis is off the field at the moment and having a head injury assessment. So Connor with a kick downfield. But easily dealt with here by Niall Evelts. And Evelts looking to clear, but Rushton's across. Has knee been good, Niall Evelts? Well, he First. said before he arrived, you, you know, fullback is his position, but clearly the coach had a plan for him on the wing. But I think today he's made a real case for that fullback position. Listen, sometimes you have to prove your worth with any organization. When you walk in fresh, you have to probably. Probably bide your time, prove your worth, earn some respect. But he's for me, he's done that today. There's Bachelor. And the other side of that yin and yang balancing act with a rechange is um, is Petter Hicku, who's got two it's tries far today. Far better, yeah, far yeah. better. Oh, that kick's not going out, is it? Eventually it does. Petter Hicku looks confident and comfortable over on this right side. And it was brave from Willie Peters, listening to the outside noise, feeling frustrated, I suspect, during the week that it wasn't quite working on a match day, and having the courage to make that change. I think he touched the line on the first bounce. Free again, and picked up again, lost by Huddersfield. This time it was Holsall who made the mistake, and the Robins find themselves in a wonderful position once more. Sue is the dummy half on that occasion. Hadley will take it in. As he goes up, Sam Holsall, the ball spews out. Here's Minchella. Parcel having to be patient here. Now he can deliver. And out to May, Tyro May, who's been really impressive today, hasn't he? And Batchelor. Parcel, Hulk KR pressing and pushing once more. Minchella back comes Luckley on the angle and carrying three defenders. An extra yard or two. It's with Parcel. Parcel skipping out. Minchella trying to shuck them off. Has another go. Still having a go, but 
Huddersfield defenders were busting off. Passell spinning it out. But there's no way through for Jez Litton, and it's a, a turnover on the sixth half. Good work from the Giants. Up quick on Jez Litton. The benefit of having players like Jez Litton in your squad, he can play at seven, play at nine, play at the back of the play of the ball, and go first or second receiver. So we get a bit more game time today, playing in a different position. Yeah. Covering for Lewis, isn't he, with his um, head injury. And he's got a kicker on the field as well now, Willie Peters. Little scruffy, a little awkward, but here we go. All salt. Milner. Just trying to thunderbolt their way to the other end of the field if they can. But if Hahifu is um, dealt with, again, a frustration from him that he felt that there might have been a penalty in there, but it's um, it's not given. Rushton gets up and plays it, and Milner. And uh, now it comes to Kloon, and Kloon trying to trick his way through, but there were two in attendance. Minchella being one of them, Lippen the other. Connor puts it high. Burgess underneath it. What a start to the game he had with his first first try in Robin's colours. You could go through all the back line, couldn't you, Dave, and, and say one to five. They've all had an influence and a bearing on the performance of the side. Here's Hickett. Parcel. Ryan Hall is searching for a little more hard work to do. And a step out of dummy half, and suddenly they're on the way again, but Gildard strike down. That time it was Parcel who opened the door. Now it comes to May. May with a kick. What's the chase like? Oh, Bachelor is the closest in pursuit, but the ball beats anyone who had any consideration. Adam Swift happy to let that ball bounce over the sideline. Failure con con to control the rope means that players like Matt Parcel are going to have a field day in this game. Well, Hika Hehifu has just gone off, by the way, and uh, Leroy Kujo is back on the field for Huddersfield. Clune. Nagama. It was an injection, wasn't it? It was a real thrill seeing Kevin Nagama scoring that try. Lifting Huddersfield's spirits immeasurably, I'm sure, and Clune. They haven't had much to shout about, but the fans appreciated appreciated the try and appreciated the commitment of the run. Lolly Hare puts it back to Connor, and Connor up to the line before he delivers a pass away. And Masters now cleverly weaving, but Mays there again with a cover tackle to stymie the ambitions of the Giants temporarily because they're still coming forward. Lolly Hare switching it back from whence it came. And eventually it all stops with Murchie five away. But one last play in the set. Swift inside for Lola Hea. The Rovers defence coming out, trying to meet what's coming at them. But this is Kloon. And Kloon, knowing it's the last play, wanted to offload. Nagama was close. But those Rovers players make sure he ain't going to get away. That's just brilliant in defence. You can see the guy with the yellow shirt, Brett Delaney, the former Leeds Rhinos player. He'll be delighted. He does a lot of work with the team defensively. But the line speed and a bet the communication I've got him I've got him has been flawless today that's the reason they've been able to get to those pivot players of the Giants and negate anything they wanted to throw at them Hawkinson Rovers on the course for their third win of the season on the back of two straight defeats this is the perfect pick-me-up here's Luckley Collected away by Parcel. Parcel back in there. One last play. Just booted as high as he can by Jess Litton. My goodness, that's gone high, but also catches safely underneath it.
what do the Giants take out of this game, Barry? I mean, apart from that try, what do they take? What is what is the learnings, as the coaches say these days? Wow, <laughs> that is a very good question. I don't think there's much, Dave. I think anything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong. I think they've, in some parts, been masters of their own downfall. But I don't. That's not to take anything away from Hull KR. I'm not sure, Dave. I'm not sure. And it's knocked down and it got a whole KR touch, so it's another set of six here for Huddersfield. And it's um, Holsall who throws it, almost throws it away. Well, it's all getting entangled here on the floor. Litton and Holsall. Well, Jez Litton feels you felt like he got an elbow somewhere involved. Well, he's on the floor, Sam Hewitt. He's probably lashed out in an attempt to get up and play the ball quickly. You can see he's not happy, gestures an elbow. Some very frustrated players. He's gone in hard. Yeah, six and two threes, that. Well, the penalty has gone Huddersfield's way. Yeah. It's about right. It's about right. Five minutes to go. Can Huddersfield give themselves another lift up? Half a century reached by Lee. 54 4 at Hull. That will sting those on the west of the river. But it's a big In the city of Hull. And a penalty here against Hull KR. That's a huge scoreline, huge result there, Barry. Big win for Lee with all those players missing. Asiata, Lachlan Lamb, all those key players who were so prominent last year. Big win for the Leopards. Big defeat for Hull as well. Season being defined in these early weeks, you fear. And here's Swift with a step back on the inside. And Adam Swift, and it's raining tries at the John Smith Stadium now for the Huddersfield Giants. They can't stop scoring in this second half. Four minutes to go. They're back, potentially, within two scores here, but I think time will run out. Yes. Penalty for the Huddersfield Giants. Hulk here with an infringement. Hand possession over to the Giants, who at last managed to find some space on the edge. And Jake Connor will hurriedly take this conversion. Has he got it? Has he got it? Yes, he has. So 12 for Huddersfield, 24 for Hawkins to Rovers. But the clock tells us this ain't going to be a grandstand finish, is it? Well, look at that scoreline. It's lying to me, that scoreline. They've been completely dominant, Hulkia. That's a terrific finish from the experienced Adam Swift, who had a lot to do with Joe Burgess just trying to ankle tap him and then the covering nine levels couldn't get to him beautiful pass from his center but if you think there's only two 6.2 tries between these two sides for me they couldn't have been any further apart it's the 149th try of adam swift's career that started if memory serves in a cup tie against witness many years ago when he scored a hat-trick, I think, on his debut. Here's Kutcher. Bringing it back. Well, when you ask me what they can take out of this game, at least they haven't given up. They've scored two late tries. They've persisted to put the effort in. But in terms of big performers on the day, it's got to be a player in a pink shirt. It could be any one of that back line for Hulkia. I think Nile Levels in his first run out at fullback is as good a shout as any. But I think Tyrone May, with his contributions, his combination with Mikey Lewis, is a good foil for Mikey Lewis when he's on the field. Tyrone May is the player, the bet fed player of the match. We're being told, by the way, that Mikey Lewis has failed his HIA. So that is um, one blot on the landscape 
for the run-ins today. Oh, that kick. Oh, Tyrone oh. May has caught it superbly well. Everybody overran it. It was almost as if a gust of wind blew it magically back to Tyrone. Everyone was 20 yards further down the field. I'll tell you what, he might have been listening to me. I'm thinking about giving it to Nile Levels. He's saying, no, you don't, Barry. <laughs> I love it. Thank you very much. He just plays at a different pace, Tyrone May, doesn't he? He has a, a leisurely... It looks too slow to be playing at full pace, but it's his pace, and all the defenders seem to second-guess and second-guess wrong around him. There you go, Betfred player of the match, Tyrone May. We'll be hearing from him after the final whistle. In the meantime, Hawkinson Rovers still going forward. Concern here for Huddersfield as well, because Luke Yates is... Um, He's down and getting a bit of treatment. In the meantime, oh, Batchelor, that's clearly off him forward. Yeah, the referee's so, going to stop play now. Stop play. Doc, doctor's on the field, isn't he? That's it. Luke Yates. Well, that'll be no dramas for him. He puts his body on the line week in and week out. But you can see he's just trying to stem the blood and stop it gushing all over the place. It may well be one of the old ones that reopened. Bachelor runs tight to Tyrone there, but two defenders. They just stopped the back rower from collecting that pass. That could have been another try. And they could have had the final say in this match. Well, Catalan Casabert is a mouth-watering prospect a little later. Can Casabert bounce back after that resounding defeat against Huddersfield last week? Catalan back on home turf in Perpignan. There he goes, Luke Yates, yeah, a couple of stitches, he'll be right, as they say. Cleared. And what's the referee given here? He's given a penalty. He's given an obstruction, hasn't he? Oh, okay, ah, yes. Anything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong. And these aren't things that happen week in, week out. Or just, sorry, Hulky Art are just going to let the last minute tick over, take the two points on offer. But from a scrum play... Yeah. Was it Nagama who yeah, came in? Yeah. yeah. And it is. It's not a 50-50 call, it is. He's bumped into him. We talk about inside and outside shoulders. Jake Connor, as he does week in, week out, still chuntering away. Every time we've seen Jake Connor today, I think I think we could use the word quizzical. Because he's yeah, he's constantly asking. Yeah. But it and it sounds obvious to say it, but those those occasions when he is questioning the referee, inevitably his side have made a made a mistake. Well, this will be the last kick of the game, you fancy? Jez Litton. Rovers in full voice behind the sticks. Travelled well and travelled happy. Because their side have won here convincingly. And a chance here to make it a little more convincing. And a bit of kicking practice. But again, it goes awry. But they've done enough in terms of scoring tries. 24 points to 12 winners here. And fully deserve it, Barry. It's funny, when you look at the scoreboard, I'd say that Willie Peters will look at that first half, and ironically, it was only 8-0 on that scoreboard, but he'd be more pleased with the way that his side went about their business, and those travelling fans have been rewarded with a resounding win, an accomplished win, and that spine is just starting to gel. I know that Hulkiar lost Mikey Lewis partway through that game, but Tyrone May, Nile Evolds, Petter Hiku in his preferred position of centre, and that's not to mention Jez Litton. As Mikey Lewis looks like he's OK. Well, it's been an uncomfortable start to the season at home for Huddersfield. Hulkingston Rovers back to winning ways after their back-to-back -back defeats ahead of this. Huddersfield Giants 12. Hulkings to Rovers, 24, the full-time score. And it was those late tries from Huddersfield that made it look a little more respectable. They've got plenty of work to do, I'm sure. We're going to be hearing from uh, one or two of those involved.
a little bit later on and that's all to come after the break on the back of a very convincing Hull Kingston Rovers victory here today. Well, we've enjoyed the Rugby League here today. There's plenty more Rugby League to come, but there's plenty of other sport live on Sky Sports. The uh, Golf, the Players' Championship Day 3, that's right now on Sky Sports Golf. And Saturday night, football, Fulham against Tottenham. Five o'clock, that all starts on Sky Sports Premier League. But full-time here, maybe a little more comfortable than uh, the scoreline suggested. Willie Peters... Very happy, I'm sure, with the way his side have played here today. Winners in the end by 24 points to 12. But it took a couple of latest tries for Huddersfield to give themselves um, a little bit more moderation on that scoreboard. But Hawkins de Rovers, by that point, had already done the job. Well, the player of the match, as chosen by Barry McDermott, was, uh, was Tyrone May, who's with us now. Tyrone, congratulations. Uh, you must be very happy with the way your side played today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, I'm pleased with how we played for 70 minutes, but I guess um, the last two tries at the end, uh, a bit of a damper on the wind, but uh, like I said, the first 70 was good. Did it feel like, did it feel like there was a, a better balance in the side today? Obviously, those positional changes with Hiku and Evels, did that feel like a better balance? Yeah, um, good question. I just think... It was always going to take time. Um, I know uh, us as a playing squad, we'll, we'll patient with, I guess, not clicking at the start. But um, as I said before in previous interviews, it's not going to be perfect. We just have to get our grit and effort in defence and uh, the attack will come later. The, the game today came on the back of a couple of defeats, albeit tight defeats, close games. But how much did you need this win just to restore a bit of that first couple of weeks confidence that you had? Yeah, uh, the last couple of weeks we felt like we we lost the game ourselves and we wanted to, I guess, rectify that by starting starting the game fast here and getting off to a good good start and then, I guess, controlling the game from there. And uh, I think we've done that. Well, well done. Congratulations. Player of the match, Tyrone. And congratulations on your side as well with a well-deserved victory today. Sweet. Thank you. There you go. Tyrone May, Barry McDermott's player of the match who got involved in a lot of the action that we saw today, Barry. I just thought he pulled all the strings, didn't he? He's that calm influence, that cool head. And we saw a couple of key involvements from him, but it's the stuff he does that's probably unnoticed. Only his teammates notice. Ryan Hall, as they came into the second half, Ryan Hall makes a break, gobbles up 35 metres for his side. Hulkiar pick up where they left off. Petter Hiku, what a day he had. The first of his two tries. Times his leap to perfection. Lovely kick from Mikey Lewis. Just after half time, they look comfortable, confident. And the defense was a feature all day for me. The way they hustled, the way they got up into the faces of the Giants, not allowing them any space until probably 65 minutes when they scored the first try. I thought he was good as well. Nyla Volds glides into the into the space, pushes it back on the inside. Peter Hiku gets his second. And the desperate Tui Lola here, although he gets a hand to the ball, well, he can't deny Hulkiar the second try. Hiku with two tries on the day. Nile Evolts with two or three key involvements. Sweeping play. Evolts to Ryan Hall. Two, four, three for him, chasing his good mate Danny Maguire. And Hulkiar, three tries to two it was in the second half. And the Giants, through players like Nagama, eats the way on 65 minutes. First try, one led to two. A committed line, a hard line and puts the ball down under the H's and Adam Swift probably with a lot to do that left foot step rides the tackle of Niall Evolds makes the scoreboard look somewhat respectable 
But Ian Watson maybe honestly will say we were beaten in most facets of the game. Well, these are the stats of the game. The telling stat, of course, as ever, the scoreline, 24 points to 12. Uh, but we're going to have a look at the table, I think, first of all. Yes, we are. Uh, still the fifth round to be completed, but uh, Hawkins to Rovers rising now into the top six as a result of that, their third win of the season. Huddersfield staying in eight, two wins from their opening five games, and we saw defeat today for Hull FC, and Lee get their first win of the season with that big, big victory at, uh, at Hull FC this afternoon. So, lots more rugby league to come here on Sky Sports. A little bit later tonight, Catalan against Castleford at 5.25. That big NRL game tomorrow on main event and arena, the Dolphins against the Dragons, starts early 7.15. And then later on, we round off the weekend with London Broncos against Warrington Wolves. 2.55 on air for that one on Sky Sports action and a full match coverage as well. Every game of the Betfred Super League live, of course, on Sky Sports throughout the season all the way through to the grand final uh, thanks for barry's company today hope you've enjoyed that match it's been terrific especially if you're a hulk Kingston rovers supporter winners today by 24 points to 12 and until next time a very good afternoon to you sky sports feel it all